got another quick video uh, on a crazy project that I worked on. Uh, this one is a uh, Marshall MG30FX. Uh, it's an amplifier I got for kind of nothing, and uh, it had some issues with it, which is why I got it for nothing. Um, so this one you can kind of file under another one of those. What the heck? You know, what was he thinking when he built this thing? Um, but it was going to be a fun project, and I thought I'd throw something together. Um, this thing had lots of issues. Even after I completed it, it was not working right. I ended up having to swap out some of the guts with another one, uh, which actually leads to another project, um, which I'll be posting shortly. But I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick overview so you can see what this looks like. And um, of course, on the blog, I've got an entry on showing where it started and how I put it together like this. So let's take a look. Okay, so here we go, getting a little up close with the MG30FX. Uh, this is an amp from, uh, you know, probably the mid-2000s, maybe, something like that. Um, it's a good 10, 15 years old. Um, it has uh, a decent array of effects. Um, it's actually four channel, and uh, then it has uh, a couple of effects that you can add to it, and it has a cool foot pedal that um, allows you to use it as a, uh, a tuner and then you can switch between the four channels on the foot pedal. So that's kind of kind of cool. Um, anyhow, uh, these are all Connecticut breweries. Um, I had all these labels from one of my Connecticut brewery projects and I decided to use it on the amplifier. Uh, it came out great. Um, it took a lot of work to get it to where it is, um, but you can see it's super shiny. Um, it just looks really awesome. Um, everything is kind of vintage looking because I have a couple of coats of polyurethane on this before I put my top coats of epoxy. Now normally you would put epoxy first and then you would put some polyurethane over it. The polyurethane gives it some UV protection and it also ambers the colors, uh, but I did it the other way around. So, you know, what can I tell you? Um, this isn't gonna be out in the ocean like a lot of epoxies and polyurethanes are. Uh, this is gonna be obviously in somebody's basement or it's gonna be out on a gig, hopefully. And all in all, you know, it came together pretty well. Um, this particular one, if you look at the blog entry, I actually stripped the Tolex off and, um, and then I primed, and it's made out of chipboard or some sort of a press board. Um, so I primed it and, uh, and then I applied the uh, labels and they're self stick labels generally. So um, it did a pretty good job of adhering to the primer. You know, from a distance, you can see how it's ambered. Um, it's got a yellowish tint to it. And if you know any of these labels, you'll notice that there is a little bit of a yellow compared to um, what they normally would be. And that is the polyurethane, uh, a sub coat that I put on, um, which gives it a vintage vibe, which is really what I was trying to do. Um, it was a little bit bright without kind of that yellowed amber. Um, you can see here, I'm gonna show you my Iron Maiden amp and uh, there's no amber on this. And you can see it's a little bit more vivid um, and that's simply because there's no polyurethane, so there's nothing to amber it. And you go back to this and you can see it's softer. Like these whites would really be white, but they're, they're very muted um, because of the uh, polyurethane. So I tried to reuse most of the equipment that came on the amplifier. Um, I did replace a few things like these screws here and the washers are, are new. Um, I did get new gold screws to match the faceplate of the amp. Uh, but for the most part, it's all original equipment. Um, I, will, I will admit that most of the amps that I find, especially if they're you know over 10 years old, they, every screw is rusted. I don't get it. Um, I guess maybe it's out and about, so it gets a lot of moisture on those screws and, and they just rust up. It's amazing. Um, it just feels like every amp I see has got rusted screws and hardware. Um, not as much on guitars. Um, I definitely see guitars with rusted stuff, but it seems like amps have more of it. I don't know why. But um, anyhow, this 
this amplifier is actually different than the original one because the original one this volume knob did not work right and it kept cutting out and um, also the foot switch input was messed up uh, and you'll see if you go to the blog that you'll see where some of the stuff on the inside of the amp also had some tape holding it on like somebody was really fooling with it I tried to fix it but I'm not an amp repair uh, repair person so I ended up just getting another um, MG amp and I took the amplifier part this chassis and put it into this amp and then I took the old one out and I'm going to use that box and build a uh, 1x12. So anyway, um, there it is.